Hey guys, so today I'm just going to be talking about uh, some recent changes made to the IGCSE uh, sciences, so biology, chemistry, and physics syllabus in 2016. Now, in previous years, so this is how the content of the course was laid out previously. Um, everyone, whether or not they were taking the core or extended curriculum, would take a paper one multi choice based uh, paper uh, where the contents of the questions or the questions would come from just the core curriculum um, or the core parts of the syllabus um, and then everyone will either take a part paper 2 or paper 3 of course paper 2 would just be for those that are taking the core curriculum and paper 3 would be the ones uh, for the people that are taking the extended curriculum uh, where the questions incorporate both the content from uh, the core syllabus and the extended supplemental syllabus as well and uh, lastly Everyone would either take a paper 4, paper 5, paper 6. Um, paper 4 is just a coursework based uh, paper, paper 5 is an actual practical test, and paper 6 is an alternative to practical, so it's like a, a written paper, but the questions will test your knowledge in experimental science. Um, now, the weightings were 30%, uh, 50% here, and 20% here, uh, making up 100. And so this was how it was like previously. Um, in the years before but in 2016 they made some small changes uh, which will affect the people that are taking the extended syllabus so all the weightings and stuff are exactly the same um, except for the practical section of the syllabus uh, they have taken out what used to be a uh, what used to be paper 4 which was a coursework based uh, kind of uh, thing there and it's not present in the current syllabus and they've changed around uh, the names of the papers so you'll just have to get that through your head first but anyways um there are two different multiple choice questions now and that's the biggest change now uh, paper one is just the multiple choice questions uh, where um, the 40 questions will be based on the course curriculum only and paper two actually has questions incorporated uh, from the extended syllabus. Now, people that are taking the extended curriculum will have to pick, take paper two, paper four, which is the structured, uh, and paper six or paper five. Okay, so the syllabus changes in terms of the uh, how it's laid out it doesn't really affect the people that are taking the core syllabus. Um, but it does affect the people that are taking the extended syllabus because when you practice questions from past papers, the multi-choice multi -choice questions are going to be substantially easier because it doesn't have questions testing you on the supplemental part of the syllabus in the previous years. Also note that especially for biology, um, contents of the syllabus have changed as well pretty significantly. There are a lot of parts that were not present before. Um, not too sure about chemistry and physics, they seem rather constant, but um, you'll have to look out for those as well. Uh, so anyways, good luck studying for that guys, and um, yeah, see you later.